This is the world, 196 million square miles. If I covered 100 square miles an hour, every hour for the rest of my life, I'd still only see half of it. This is the left nostril of my brother Reese. It squeaks all night long. These are the freezing cold feet of my little brother, Dewey. This is my oldest brother, Francis. He's the one I really like, so of course, he got sent to military school. My name is Malcolm. You want to know what the best thing about childhood is? At some point, it stops. Yes, no, baby. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. Malcolm Reese, do it! Get out of here! I can't tell you who to sock it to. Who to sock it to? Stop! I'm not touching you! There are only two toaster waffles. One of you has to have cereal. Give me one mine! Come on! Give it! You cheated! Give it! Give it! Huh. Look at this. They're sending an unmanned probe to Venus and letting a bunch of school children name it. Well, that's gonna end badly. They do this every month. He has sensitive skin. The hair gets itchy under his clothes. Yeah, it seems like such a shame to just dump this in the trash. Maybe birds would like to make nests with it, or... I don't know, maybe you boys could use it for school projects. Arms up. Dude. Malcolm, you come right home from school today. I made a play date for you with Stevie Canarbin, and you have to take a bath. What? Mom, no! Malcolm has a play date? Shut up, Reese! Was Stevie the Willie Canarbin? Oh, man. Ha! <laughs> Why is playing a problem for you? First off, I don't even know Stevie. I saw his mother at the grocery store. She said you boys ate lunch together. One time. He rolled his wheelchair over next to me. It's not like I could say, go away. He's not even in my class. He's in the crow boy class in the trailer next to Tetherball. You listen to me, young man. That one lunch obviously meant a lot to Stevie. He's a human being with human feelings. Now, you are going to be friends with that cripple boy, and you're going to like it. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Understood. If I give up now, I won't get the lecture. You kids. You just take your legs for granted, you know, like nothing could ever happen to them. Well, let me tell you something. That is just wishful thinking. There's meningitis. There are car accidents. I could be giving you a spanking and accidentally snap your spinal cord. Every day is a lottery, and first prize is that you don't have to scoot yourself around town on a skateboard with your hands. You think about that. I don't take my legs for granted, Mom. I know, honey. You're a good boy. Stop playing with yourself. Stop pushing me! Mom, just go. Oh, stop teaching! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I ran out of ham. One of you has to have egg salad. Okay, and don't ditch your little brother. I don't want him getting kidnapped. Yeah, Mom, that would be terrible. It's your turn to walk. I walked in yesterday and the day before. I walked with him when he wet his pants. Okay. Mom said to hold hands. She did not say to hold hands, Dewey. I'm not holding hands. Come on, hold hands, please. No, you're in the first grade. You're too big for that. Look, I'm walking right next to you. You'll be fine. Damn it! This is why everyone teases you. Hey, Malcolm. Hey, Richard. So my mom was telling my dad last night about your brother. She said he's in jail. He's not in jail. He's at Marlin Academy. It's like one of the best private schools in the country. And it's totally unfair. Everyone acts like Francis is just this big troublemaker. And he's not. Dad, I know what you're going to say. And believe me, I totally agree with you. There is no excuse for what I did. It was idiotic, immature, totally reckless. And I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm hoping against hope that you will give me another chance, which I admit I don't deserve. But if you could just find it in your heart to forgive me, I know I could earn your trust back. It's not like it was even our car! <laughs> fast, fast, fast! All right, here's how it works. You can beg for mercy on your belly, lick the bottom of my shoes, 
or take a beating. You must pick at least two. But, 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 if you pick three, you get a pass for the next two weeks. All right? Now that's your best value. Dave's bad. He never gets sent anywhere. What do you do if he catches you? Roll in a ball. What if he starts kicking you? Stay in a ball. Okay. Come on. Wait. Never mind. Those of you finished with your tempera paints may bring your work up here and start on your charcoal still lifes. You may take two pieces of fruit only, and please be careful with them. I bought them with my own money. My own money. God, Mouth, I'm not so good. Oh, Malcolm, this is wonderful. The perspective is good, the composition is clean, and it even shows signs of actual technique. I have to say, this is the high point of my day. <laughs> How's that for sad? Are you okay? Um, yeah. I'm fine. Malcolm. What? They need to see you in the office. Okay. I think they mean right now. Okay. Get up, Malcolm. Hi, I'm Carolyn. Wanna have a seat? Are you Malcolm? Yes, and I didn't do anything. You're not in trouble, Malcolm. You're here because some of your teachers think you're... Um, you know what? I just want to play some games with you, okay? Puzzles, stuff like that. Why? Boy, oh boy, you are a suspicious little dickens, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Now, you can look at this picture for 60 seconds, and I want you to tell me everything that's wrong with it, okay? The man only has four fingers. Right. But this time, I want you to take your time and really look at it. The car shadow's going the wrong way. The steering wheel's on the wrong side. There's no brake pedal. The words in the mirror should be backwards. The guy's watch when it's say 12 o'clock if he's looking at a sunset. And I have red paint on my ass. That's right, red paint all over my ass. 